welcome to a new video. I hope you guys are all doing well. So first of all, please excuse my appearance because this is like my day off casual kind of look. I honestly have like no in between. It's either full glam, I'm ready for a shoot or a carpet, or I'm wearing like all Lululemon, which is what I'm wearing right now. And I don't have like a single drop of makeup on. And there's like two zits that I was picking on. So that's what those two dots are on my face, if you can see it. But anyways, um, I have been wanting to do a unboxing for some time, but never got the chance to. I honestly wanted to do it after one of the days when I had full glam, so I look more presentable. But I'm like so tired when I get back after my shoots or filming or any of that kind of stuff. So I never got around to doing it. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it on my day off and just do it like this. But we have a lot of things to get through and you probably don't see anything here because this unboxing is all shopping bags. And if I put them all on this table, you wouldn't even be able to see me. I'll show you what we have and then I'll take them all out of the shopping bags and we will unbox them on this table together. To start off, we have some Chanel and we have three bags. This one and then these two other larger ones. There is a lot of things in here so I'm excited to show you guys. But let me put these off to the side so I can kind of show you what else we have. And next we have some Balenciaga Gucci. So it's the Gucci area collection and the bags look like this. One side is um, says Gucci and the other side says Balenciaga. This is also from the Balenciaga Gucci collab thing but the reason why it's in this bag is because I got some of these pieces before they were officially released, so they didn't have the official bags yet. And last but not least, we have a very special bag from Louis Vuitton. I think this is probably my favorite bag that I own now. I've actually never seen this bag in person, but I just saw the photo of it and that was enough, you know. I didn't need to see any more, I knew I wanted it. So they messengered it over because I didn't have time to go by the Beverly Hills store. I think we are going to start off with the Chanel, but I'm first going to just take everything out of these bags and put them on this table because this looks like a mess. Here is everything out of the shopping bags and yeah, this is what we have. So like I said, we will start off with the Chanel and I think let's do these little boxes first. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven of these cute little Chanel boxes and one of them is a bag, but the other ones are all like fun other accessory sort of things and jewelry. And let's do, let's go from smallest to largest. So these two. Inside this first little box is two lip rings. Now this is something that's kind of new and different for Chanel because I've never seen them do lip rings before. I do remember seeing it on the runway and I thought that would be really cool if they actually made them for, you know, for stores because not everything that's on the runway ends up in stores. And turns out that they did. They would especially be cool for shoots and photos and it'd just be cool to just you know, wear around with other Chanel outfits. It comes with one that doesn't have crystals and then another one that has little crystals on it. I'll put it on to show you guys, but basically, it just goes like this. It just loops around your lip, and yeah, so that's what this first little box is. And inside the second little box, we have a ring. I did also get the matching earrings that went with it. It's inside one of these boxes that we'll open later. So I'll keep this one out so you guys can see 
what it looks like with the earrings, but it's just a, you know, a silver ring and yeah, it has the CC logo on the front. These next three boxes are all earrings and this first pair I'm gonna show you guys is the one that goes with this ring. So it looks like this. It's actually very similar to the super popular Chanel earrings that they did with the crystals and then the one without the crystals, you know, several years ago. But they just made this version instead. So it's like a little set. This next pair is a gold hoop and it goes like this. So it goes into the ear right here and then there's a tiny little CC here in the front. And then I love these, you know, dangling chains underneath. I don't have many gold earrings, so I thought I would get this one. It's kind of like a, a different style hoop, which I liked. And I also loved how the hoop is made up of these, you know, little circular balls. And our last pair is actually my favorite pair. And this one is also something different for their earrings. So it's like a CC logo. It almost looks like a brooch, but there's no, you know, attachment to stick it on anywhere. And how it works is that part of the, the CC comes off and you stick that through your ear and then the other side comes around the back. So it looks kind of like you have a Chanel logo hanging off of your ear, which I thought was something really cool and different as well. I know I always say the same words, cool and different. I have like no thesaurus inside of me for those words. I love this pair. It's like my new favorite pair of Chanel earrings, just because I think it's so different. If they made them in other colors, I would definitely get them as well. And the other thing I love about these is I love my Chanel costume jewelry to be like big and chunky because if I'm wearing fine jewelry, then it will be like pretty and dainty, but costume jewelry, I like them big. Moving on, we have the second to last biggest box and then the bag. Inside this next box, we have a Chanel choker. I love this kind of soft gold tone that they do. I'm not sure what it's called. They have, like beige gold. I think that's the word that they use to describe this type of gold. It's simple, it's cute. It has the CC logo and then the chain that just goes all the way around. It's also really easy to put on because you just pull it open and then you just put it around your neck and then it closes. So. It's something that I would like layer with a bunch of other necklaces. That's how I like to do the chokers. I like to, you know, wear with choker, then maybe another necklace that's slightly longer, still like a choker style, and then put like more and more and more and more and just layer it all up. And last but not least for the Chanel boxes, because we still have clothes and more clothes, um, this is a bag, you can probably tell by the size of the box, and I actually haven't gotten a Chanel bag in quite some time because, one, I haven't really liked many of the styles that they've had, and the other reason was I haven't really had time to go, you know, shopping in Chanel stores or even looking at the pictures my salespeople were sending me. And then I saw this one, and I just loved it. I thought... It was adorable. It's a smaller size because you guys know I like my mini bags. And I thought it was something kind of classic-ish. And I also don't have many bags that are in this material because this bag is velvet. Velvet is honestly a bag that is kind of hard to, to like wear because it gets stained really easily. You can't wear it when it's raining. So I don't have many velvet bags, but I really like this one. So let me show you guys which one I picked up. And it's this adorable little, it's like a shoulder bag, but I'm just gonna carry it like this in my hand because I'm not a fan of crossbody or shoulder bags. It's a black velvet with a white velvet trim. And then there's the gold Chanel CC buckle and that's how it opens. There is actually quite a lot of space inside considering how small many of my other bags are. I really liked the shape of this bag. It's kind of like a hexagon, pentagon shape. 
and I've never really seen Chanel do bags in this funky sort of shape. So yeah, that is our little Chanel bag. We're gonna do these two white bags next just to get them off of the table because they take up so much space. And then we can do the clothes that are behind me. Our first piece is this Chanel shirt. And I first saw this in the window on a mannequin. The thing that caught my attention was the color and I also loved the subtle CC logos all throughout. It's very oversized as you can tell. It's quite long and when I tried it I can actually wear it as a shirt dress. So there's many different ways you can style it depending on the weather or the occasion to see what's appropriate. I really loved how they did you know, the contrasting cuffs and collar. And there's these pretty crystal buttons on the sleeve as well. And there's a little crystal button right here on the collar. And then the rest of the buttons are just normal. This shirt actually came in kind of like a minty seafoam green and also black. And it also has the same logo throughout, but I think the logo is like much tinier. It's like tiny little CCs. I think it's only the purple one that has the really big ones, but I could be wrong. And this next piece is something I will be wearing often because it's very comfortable and casual. It's a pair of Chanel sweatpants. This came in a white and black, and I think also a white with silver like crystals all throughout. I also have the matching sports bra, which I got earlier, and I already have that hanging in my closet. I can get it. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. So this is the little matching bra and we have the sweatpants here. They are kind of oversized and I just got the smallest size, but good thing they have a drawstring. I also had them order the sweatshirt with the same print, but it hasn't arrived yet. So when the sweatshirt arrives, I will have the full Chanel sweatsuit set. But for now, we just have a little crop top bra and sweatpants, which is perfect for LA weather because you're really never wearing sweatshirts or jackets in LA except for when the sun sets because then it becomes really cold. We have our last two Chanel pieces in this garment bag. And these are actually the most, like the more exciting ready to wear pieces in my opinion. Or one of my favorite new Chanel clothing purchases. This is um, something that they actually didn't even have out in the store but the lady thought I might like it so she just brought it out from the back and I loved it and I was like wow this is so cool and very me. It's a simple black turtleneck but it has the little pink CC logos all throughout and you can tell there's like this silver kind of tinsel thing around the CC's. It's from the Coco Neige collection. I think that's what it's called, but it's like the snowing ski collection. That's why it has like the little silver things around it. I think it's supposed to look like snow. This would be something, you know, really nice layered or worn by itself. I've actually never tried it. I just got the 34, which is my usual size. So hopefully it fits. Um, but yeah, maybe I should try it tonight. I don't really try clothes either because I know my size and all the brands and 99% of the time I'm correct on the sizing. So it looks like it would fit. And this last piece is probably my favorite. It's an adorable little Chanel vest and they made it in this salmon color. There's also a tweed version. It's like black and pink and gray tweed check all over. My mom actually got that one because this salmon color isn't suitable for her skin tone. So me and her will be matching, which will be kind of fun. I do have some matching stuff with my mom, but not a lot because we don't really like some of the same things. So yeah, we're gonna be twinning in this. And the front has a little mademoiselle thing that kind of goes around to the back. And the back is honestly the cool part. It says Chanel, number five, Coco, just all the things Chanel is known for. And I love how they did this sort of, I don't know what you call it, this like abstract sort of chunky 
letters. It looks like someone was doing a school project and just stuck them on there, which I like. It's like a little deconstructed DIY Chanel vest. And there's two little pockets in the front, so you can put like your little lipstick and stuff in it. These pockets probably fit more than most of my mini bags, honestly, so they will come in handy. Although then it'll probably look kind of weird if they're full. Okay, so Chanel is done. And lastly, we have these four boxes. I think we will save the Louis Vuitton for last because it's special and I want to save like you know, the best for last. Actually, I love all these pieces, but we're gonna save this one for last and let's do these Gucci Balenciaga pieces next. Our first Gucci Balenciaga piece is this beautiful necklace. I knew as soon as I saw this necklace on the runway and the photos that I needed to have this. I love how they did the, um, the G with the Gucci logo. And I'm a big fan of, you know, chunky chain sort of necklaces. It's also two-tone, which is kind of cool. It's silver and gold. So you could layer it with silver or gold jewelry. I think I want to probably get other Gucci silver necklaces or maybe some other necklaces from this collection now to layer it up because that's how they did it on the runway. And I really loved how they did that. It makes it more of a statement effect and I'm all for statement jewelry. So this is our first piece. This next box is a bag and I just wanted to show you guys the dust bag because I think it's kind of fun. One side says Gucci and the other says Balenciaga. I love this split dust bag. It's like a cool little touch. And we have this hourglass bag inside and this was like another one of those kind of classic Balenciaga pieces that I wanted to get from this collection because it has the Balenciaga logo but with the Gucci print and the hourglass is one of Balenciaga's most classic silhouettes. They had this smaller size and also a larger size but you know knowing me I got the smaller one. I wish they made a mini one that would be even more cute and I would have gotten that size because I mean, for me, the smaller, the better. And it opens, it's literally just like the hourglass bag. It opens and there's a bunch of space inside. Right now it's like tissue and we have, I think this is a strap. No, here's the strap. The strap is in this little plastic bag. I'm not gonna take it out or put it on because I don't even carry bags with straps. So I'm just gonna keep it inside and I would just carry it as a top handle like how I do all my bags. Not a big fan of shoulder straps. Our last piece from the collection, I don't know if you call it Gucci area or Gucci Balenciaga, honestly, but the dust bags are kind of cool. One is Balenciaga and one is Gucci. They're probably half and half. And I got the boots. So this boots is again with a Balenciaga silhouette because this is their classic over the knee kind of style boot, but with the Gucci print on it. And I have this pair of boots in black. And I mean, I really love them. They're, they fit like a sock. I'm a shoes, accessory, bags kind of person. I have so many clothes. So the only piece of clothing that I got from that collection was the, what do you call it? That crystal blazer. And also the that jacket that kind of falls off the shoulder. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but they're not here yet. So we just have all these accessories first. That is it for our Balenciaga Gucci, but we do have this last Louis Vuitton. So I'm going to clean this up and show you guys our last final piece. Last but certainly not least, we have something special from Louis Vuitton. And yeah, I saved it for last because I think it's the one that I'm looking forward to opening the most which doesn't make sense that I saved it for last. We have this gorgeous petite mom. I mean, honestly, 
there are no words needed. I don't even know exactly how to begin to describe this because it is just stunning. And I love how it's, you know, the silver and the gold. First of all, this silver part is made up of these tiny little like crystal pieces. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's like it's tiny little crystals and it makes it so reflective. It almost looks like little rocks. And then I love how it has the gold mirror trim and then it has like the white buckle strap. When you open it, the strap that comes with this bag is also kind of different than your typical petite malls because it's a chain strap. I'm going to show you guys. This is a bag that I'll probably actually carry with the strap because the strap is cool and I have the matching necklace that goes with the strap. So this is what the strap is. It has um, the little LV logo and some of the links, which is a fun little touch. And you just clip it onto the sides. And there you go. The strap isn't actually that long, which is nice. So you can just carry it kind of like a purse or on your shoulder. It looks really good with my Lululemon outfit. And I mean, yeah, this is the one that I saved for last. Let me grab the necklace just to show you guys. Here is the necklace and as I said earlier, it's the same as the chain on this bag, but these links are just bigger. And yeah, I mean, here we go. We have kind of a matching set. I actually didn't know that this bag came with a chain that was the same as the necklace that I already had until my salesperson sent me a photo with the chain on it. Honestly, it's just like an added bonus because I was gonna get the bag regardless since I carried my other petite malls just as a clutch, but this one, I would use the chain. So that is going to be it for today's video and I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I know it's a little bit different than my typical ones because we have shopping bags instead of packages and that's because these items all came from stores versus the other ones came from you know, online shopping, so they had to be shipped here. But I think I actually prefer this type of unboxing more because it's much less effort. Like I don't have to open all those boxes. And also I like doing it in my comfy casual clothes with no makeup. I hope you guys don't mind this appearance. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And please don't forget to follow me on Instagram. If you don't already, you'll be able to see me wear all these Cool new pieces on my Instagram and I will see you in the next video. Bye!